Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture with another quick tutorial recap of today's live stream. So this was a really fun live stream and thanks to everybody who joined me. Um, in about a half an hour, what we did was create this abstract art and the inspiration behind it was Matisse's organic shapes and also the colors were inspired by Haute Couture. And this was a color palette that I had already previously created but it's really fun to go back and use these color palettes and it's and it's really liberating because I don't have to do in the moment choosing all of the colors so that's a real plus of this so let me pop on over to my internet and um, so the color palette was already available to the Behance subscribers and this is a, a preview of this color palette so it was actually inspired by this look by Zahir Murad and it was very sea inspired and i really love this mix of colors with the blues the blue greens and the reds and so i created um, a color palette for the multicolor brushes as well as the wet paint brushes and so uh, this is really fun to play with because like all of your color decisions are already done so um, I really like to make these um, pre-made color palettes and they can make your life really easier. So we use that today. I also used um, uh, prominently my Galaxy Photoshop brushes. I used those. I used a little bit of the Glitch Core. I used one brush from my Undersea Dreams collection and that was pretty much it. So I'm going to go into the tutorial and show you what I did. So this was the final um the final you know uh art but really it looks a bit complicated but i'm going to break it down and show you how it was really simple the bulk of this was just creating these shapes and painting inside of them and then we added a couple extra layers and we're have this really fun dimensional sort of look so what i started with let me take back my layers here and the first thing that i did was i created a sketch so obviously I was inspired by Matisse, um, took any old pen and just sketched it out and I was happy with that. So the next thing that I did was I drew in the shapes um, and usually like I give you some tips on how I drew in my shapes and filled them in. Um, always make sure that something like this I use my brush smoothing so that was fun. And then what I did was created a, a layer group and I used, I took this, um, actually took these shapes, merged them onto a single layer, made a selection, and then created a layer group um, and used that as the layer mask. And so essentially, let me, I just painted inside of those shapes. So let me turn off my sketch layer here, put on the background. So the bulk of this was just painting with my multicolor brushes inside those shapes and I used only one color palette and I used different brushes and I got this really cool amazing effect. One thing though that I, I, I did do is I made sure that the shapes layer was behind it so even though we're doing blue on blue um, I didn't want those shapes to have transparency so I wanted them to have the same blue as the background and but the bulk of this was just having fun using the multicolor brushes and just grabbing some brushes that I liked and painting in there and I like that the edges are not totally defined um, and so you're getting some of that blue space and it just um, and some of those strokes kind of connect the shapes so you really feel the edges so that's what I really enjoyed with this and then just to add a little bit more dimensionality, I took my solid color palettes that come with this collection and I just created some gradients like you see here with the colors that were already part of the color palette. So again, I didn't have to make those color decisions and I showed you how I did that with the gradients um, in the uh, tutorial. And then the last touch that I did was to add the Undersea Dreams brush I used it in a single color above those color bursts and just to add a little touch of seaweed another sea inspired layer to this um, abstract art and I like how it turned out so you you feel those shapes 
um, but it's not you know clear cut and everything. And then the last thing that I did though is I did want to define them just a little bit more. So I took those shapes that I created and let me just drag this layer to the top here so you guys can see. And I took those shapes, I recolored them with the same solid colors from my palette. And then I put them behind that shapes, the solid shapes layer. And oops, I just um, pull this down here. Wait, let me just drag this little bad boy. And so, okay, and I need to move these above the, let's get in the right, okay, there we go. So I just moved them down and over a little bit. So now we're just getting just a hint of that solid color and just to define those shapes just a little bit more. So that was the last, that, that was the last and final step. Of course, you could skip that as well. It's kind of nice like that, but I just wanted a little bit um, to bring that whole color scheme all together. And what's great is like, we did not have to make any color decisions. That's a real joy sometimes when you just wanna create. And I'm just gonna show you some of the brush strokes that I use to make those, um, what do you call it? To, to paint inside of those shapes that I did. So let me go over to uh, this here. So I've got my pattern stamp tool. I've got that first color palette in the Undersea Dreams collection. And I used, um, to start off with, I used galaxy brushes. So I had fun with that. You can just, you know, you don't have to use the same ones that I did, but let me just zoom in here a little bit. I used this brush number 13. And it was just a nice, um, I like this brush. It's like a little uh, grainy. I used brush 17 to add some soft, you know, just a soft color. I used uh, brush 26, which um, this one is fun. I like that they kind of has like this very, like those are little galaxies that are, um, I, I'm sure that that was, uh, so I sampled the brush tip like with those galaxy clusters. So that's really fun. Um, that was brush number 26. And also I use brush number 22. I like the harsh sort of effect that that has. So that was from the galaxy collection. And then I took um, from the glitch core collection, I took brush number, I believe it was 36. And this was a real, this is a real wild one from the Glitchcore collection. Uh, like I love all the things that you can do with this brush. It's absolutely insane. But what I did was I, you know, had this continuous stroke and it's connecting and going through those, um, those shapes. So that way you kind of feel the shape outline a bit better. Um, so that was really fun. And then I also used brush number five from the Glitchcore collection. And with this one, I liked to uh, paint it in between so you could kind of see some of this brush on either side of the, um, the shapes. But this was a really cool brush and you get all those colors coming out and it's a lot of fun. So that is the tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know down below and I'll link you to the full tutorial. So check that out and the source files will be available to my Behance subscribers. So I'll see you on the next tutorial.